hey hello guys you're welcome back to this youtube channel so in today's video i want to teach you how to convert your artwork you know to a uh, pencil art form it can't be exactly but you can have uh, something that has to do with the exact replica all right so let's dive into it so we are using as much um art work is that okay that's what you're going to be using so just go to your gallery all right this is what i've done can you see i did this with pixart and this with lightroom so that's the two application we're going to be using and um, you get the description uh, i mean the link to the video is that okay you're going to get it um under the description uh, box is that okay so let me search for where the picture is so we can straight to our uh our pixart all right here is it is that okay so i click on this share right we want to make use of pixart first is that okay so i will share to a pixart to my pixart application is that okay so if you don't have it don't worry <coughs> all right um go to this effect where fx is written can you see that all right so you click on it uh we have a fx we have a canvas we have a sketch we have a magic glow all right you see some of these effects i will not be allowed to use them is that okay uh, but i can still be allowed to use uh on the uh this fx you see you see canvas you see sketch all right i want to show you everything you see it's putting an icon there uh i see it wants to reload all right we have blow but when it comes to blow you see all those things clear out all right we have artistic we have pop art all right we have paper we have this out this dot we have colors is that okay so you can choose anything you want you can choose anything you want is that okay you can choose anything you want all right so now coming to this paper or uh, let's come to our color first um i can choose this my color right can you see it it stands as my black and white now is that okay so you can uh, work on the hue can you see that all right so come to this paper is that okay Click on this, you see it's not allowing me to use its connection field. Pixart requires an internet connection, it can enable network access in setting. Alright, so here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to put on your data connectivity and allow it to load up for some time. Alright, so I will pause this video, you put on your data and begin to click on all these effects. Then once you do that, it's just a one time um, something. Is that okay? Once you do it, you'll be able to use it. Alright. So I'll be posting this video now and load up all these uh, effects. Yeah guys, so I have loaded it up. So clicking on my uh, Stentia one, Tesla one, all right, you see this. So you click on the check. Remember, these three lines and these three circles, you can reduce the noise or increase. Is that okay? It all depends on what you want. All right, so just let me decrease a little too. all right so i'll come back to my colors let me choose on colorize again all right um sorry i should save it before coming to uh color colorize is that okay so let me click on this back all right so click on this check mark so just allow it to load up then i can go back to my effect all right and even uh, instead of choosing the colorize, all right, this colorize here, instead of let's choose it and let's see, can you see this? All right, but instead of choosing it, you can decide to come back to uh, your tools. Let me click on this card, all right, come to tools <clears throat> and this adjust. Now, this saturation you can decrease it, can you see? So it's also black and white, can you see that now? So you just save your work and it's done. Then moving to Pixart. Alright, let's come back to gallery. 
so we want to go for our Lightroom now Adobe Lightroom all right like I said the description uh, the link to download will be under this video is that okay all right so I click on this again all right so here is the picture that I want to make use of is that okay uh, so let's it always load up so firstly what I'll be doing is to click on this color all right uh, so we have black and white upwards there is that okay so just click on it good so you can choose to adjust this uh, temperature all right if you don't want it to be uh, light all right this thing just so you can you can choose to do that and come to this light is that okay and let me go to my black and give it more power because I don't want it too shining and this white let me just reduce it a little guys remember like I always say it doesn't matter that you follow every single thing I do this video is just to give you an idea of how it has been done all right so again come to effect all right and this green then you can put it on any size you want is that okay can you see that now I've uh, got so once you're done with every of your settings and your details you put more sharpening all right and details you put everything all right so i think it it's good to go all right guys but you need to note something all these backgrounds don't use it for heat just use a plain background or some kind of radiant background like the one i showed you before let me show you again now okay so don't use this kind of backgrounds you use uh, uh, backgrounds that you know they they are not uh, they are not too much they are not you know it's not busy yeah I think that's the word backgrounds that are not busy you know something like this all right you can see so guys make sure you do something better I'll be expecting you to work on it is that okay so thank you guys for watching but guys please you need to note something that you watching this video without subscribing and liking it automatically means we are telling youtube that these videos are very very useless watching it without clicking on the like button it's telling youtube it's very very useless so if you want youtube to refer these videos to others please click on the like button and also subscribe to this youtube channel so guys thank you for watching bye bye